I want to be the Melbourne Cup. I are the first Tuesday in Why November. is the race that stops the Archer. nature. I am Farlow. I am G'day Maccabee Diva. Blue 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 Down with Tuesday. another edition of Staying the Distance. On today's show, we look at some great news around wagering pools. For statistical buffoons, we scope the bloodlines of the last 15 years of Melbourne Cup place getters. But first, let's take a look at the 2020 Melbourne Cup field with all jockeys confirmed now and the runners with their barrier numbers highlighted in green. Oh, I didn't know you were here. Look, I just wanted to give you some notice that the video you're watching was actually produced in 2020. Um, in January of 2021, YouTube cancelled my channel totally. They conspired with Racing.com because apparently I was using some of their video content and they didn't like that. So Anthony Van Dyke, one of the major chances, he's got the three barrier. That's worked out well for him. But the other big news is Tiger Moth copying number 23 and that's going to be very difficult for him to navigate as he is a front running type some others that i'll comment on surprise baby the aussie hope who went so close last year has the seven barrier and last year's winning jockey craig williams is on board then there's sir dragon a the cox plate winner he's out in number 14 prince of aaron with the only female jockey has drawn number one barrier, and that is exactly the same as uh, Michelle Payne did back in 2015 when Prince of Penzance won the Melbourne Cup. So, no more questions about the final field and the barrier draw. It's all done and dusted. We'll move on to the second segment, which is on the bloodlines of the last 15 years place getters in the Melbourne Cup. list of nine horses that's on your screen now are all horses that have appeared at least twice as either a sire or the damn sire of a Melbourne Cup place getter in the last 15 years. A couple of things that are important to note. Pantire, yeah, whilst appearing twice, he did not sire a winner. And the same goes for Galileo and Storming Home. Get locked and loaded with Wishbet. Wishbet! There's a new sheriff in town. Now, this list here are the three most prolific of the sires over the last 15 years. Galileo has the most. He's, had, he's appeared four times as a sire or dam sire. Funny enough, he hasn't sired a winner. Monsoon has appeared three times and he's had three winners. The third one, Pontra Celebra, I've got no idea about the pronunciation of that. Every time his name appeared, it was just as the damn sire. So he's at least two generations back. Now we look at this year's runners that have that proven Melbourne Cup blood pumping through their veins. Well, there it is. It's quite an exhaustive list. Now. Heaps of them with Galileo, predominantly with Galileo as their grandfather. Now, Anthony Van Dyke and Tiger Moth are directly related. Galileo is their father. A couple of other notes of interest. Warning has Declaration of War on one side and Galileo as a grandfather on the other side. Declaration of War did not appear in our list. He did sire last year's winner, Vow and Declare. And finally, Prince of Aaron. He has a double dose of this rich Melbourne Cup blood in Monsoon and Storming Home, though both appear two generations back. Now, I wouldn't advise anybody to bet purely on bloodlines alone. I'll use bloodlines as a tiebreaker if I can't separate two horses in my Melbourne Cup first four. I hope you found that information useful.
Now for that news around wagering pools. We saw earlier in the year that due to the Chinese virus, punters weren't punting as much as they usually would, and pools were down. Well, that seems to have changed now. Here's a look at Everest dividends and pools from 2019. We see down the bottom that win pools were 1,328,000, place pools 552,000, and first four that I'm interested in stood at 2,318,000. For 2020, we saw win pools in the Everest at 843,000, place pools at 366,000, and first four at 2,000,000. 281. So while there were reductions in win and place by around 30%, there was very little change in first four betting. In the Cox Plate of 2019, the win pool was 910,000, the place pool 369,000, and the first four 491,000. But in 2020's Cox Plate, we saw a win pool of 768,000, a place pool of 324,000, and a first four pool of 526,000, which was actually an increase. Finally, in a Group 3 race comparison, 2019's Hotham Stakes contained a win pool of 205,000, a place pool of 95,000, and a first four pool of 50,946. Skip forward to 2020, and the win pool was 183,000, place pool of 78,000, and once again an increase in first four betting, 59,714. So the point to take from this segment is that despite the so-called pandemic, people are still punting at around 80% of pre-virus punting and actually higher wagering in exotics like the first four bets. Online betting offerings seem to be in sync now. There is very little variation. Anthony Van Dyke is favourite. He is $7.50 at Bet365, but the TAB and Ladbrokes are offering $8 for him. Very Elegant is $13 everywhere, but for Sports Bet, they're only offering $12 for her, the Caulfield Cup winner. There's Prince of Aaron. He's either $10 or $11 in actual race news because most of these prices are very similar uh, in actual race news that some may not know about number 19 warning and number 22 ocean x were both passed or uh, both passed veterinary checks on friday after they were reportedly lame it put a smoke bomb through um ocean x backers earlier and she was actually quoted at 81 dollars on sports bet last night that's saturday night but now the best that's being offered is 67 for Ocean X. Despite the injury concerns, I'll be having her in my first four somewhere. It's highly unlikely that you'll get another video from me before the Melbourne Cup. I'll be hunkering down for some serious and hardcore study over the next couple of days and another crack at the Melbourne Cup first four. Before the end of the show, we'll take a look at the staying features, but for the moment, just I'll continue scrolling through these online prices. Remember, this is Sunday morning, Australian Eastern time. Things may have changed by the time you take a look. Okay, let's finish off with those staying features. Look out for the Tenno Show Autumn today from Japan. Alm and I will be running along with Japan's two mile champ, Fearmon. The Melbourne Cup is on Tuesday, of course, 3 p.m. Australian Eastern Time. And next weekend for true stayers, the Queen Elizabeth Stakes, the first of the spring consolation events for stayers here in Australia, will be on at Flemington before the two at Sandown the following week. Best of luck and remember to check the odds and pick a winner.